When you receive your unicycle from jugglingstore.com, it'll come in the big brown square box. It will not be assembled. So the first thing to do is to actually open up the box and check that all the parts are there. Um, depending on the brand of unicycle, the parts will look different and there may be some little extras in there. The first one should be the frame. I'm going to be using a Torca CX 20 inch yellow because uh, it shows up nice and bright here and it's actually our warehouse unicycle that we ride around on. The next part is the seat and seat post assembly, your wheel, bearings and crank arm assembly. Please note that the tires may not be inflated. Um, you will want to inflate these up to 35 to 55 pounds per square inch and then you'll also get your little box of goodies. Okay, so in your box of goodies you should have your two pedals, two crank caps, seat post quick release binder, a little baggie of nuts and bolts and sometimes washers, and typically the pedal wrench. With the Torca brand of unicycles, the crank caps fit directly onto the frame surrounding the bearing on the hub of the wheel. If you have bought a Sun unicycle, you'll have little rubber inserts and these will fit into the cap, into here, and into the bearing assembly on the fork. For the torque unicycles, an Allen key or an Allen wrench. And for the Sun unicycles, the Sun unicycles use a regular hex bolt and you'll just need a socket for these ones. The first thing to check is which direction your wheel is facing. And the way to do this is to look actually on the inside of the crank arms and one will say L for left and one will say R for right and it'll be stamped actually into the steel of the crank arm and sometimes only the right one may have it stamped or sometimes only the left one. With your frame on the torquer models it'll actually say front so this is going to be facing away from me because this is going to be the front of the unicycle. Um, the other way to check on this is where the seat post clamp goes that'll be to the rear and now we just simply sit that straight onto there. So it doesn't matter which side of the unicycle you first start on, but you want to take your bearing housing and put it on the underside of the bearing assembly connected to the hub of the wheel. We take the nut and put it in the top and the bolt through the bottom and just finger tighten it for now. We're going to do that on both sides. So the nut in here and the bolt in here. With the sun, it does vary. Typically, the bolt goes from the top and the nut is on the bottom. So let's go ahead and do that on the other side here. And now we have the wheel fixed into the frame. We next have to tighten these bolts right up. And for that, we're using the Allen key. And the most important thing here is you'll see there's a gap on both sides. We want to try and make this as equal as possible on both sides to distribute the pressure evenly across the bearing. So just go ahead there and do it on both sides of the unicycle. So we just try and get this. So this little gap here and this little gap here. So they're both just about the same. Now, a lot of our customers get confused about the little hole that is actually in the bottom of the hubcap. This actually serves no purpose other than from when the unicycle is being sprayed. This is the, actually the hole that hangs this part of the unicycle for when it is being painted. Okay, now on to fixing the pedals. Now, this is potentially one of the worst parts about building the unicycle. And the reason for that is the thread on the right hand side for where the pedal mounts is different to the thread on the left. And the reason for this is so when you're riding, one pedal doesn't come undone while you're actually pedaling forward. So what you need to do is to look actually on your pedals. 
Okay, now this is definitely the right hand pedal. You'll see at the very end of the thread here, it has an R printed into it. And so that is definitely the right pedal. And so what we're gonna do is go ahead, just drop it in there very lightly. And that should just screw straight in there in a regular clockwise fashion. And it should slip straight in there. Okay, now go ahead, take the pedal wrench, put it on there and crank it up nice and tight. And that's your right hand pedal fixed. Now the left hand pedal, is going to thread in counterclockwise. So once again, I'm not spinning the pedal. I'm actually turning the axle all the way up there. Once again, the pedal wrench and make sure that's nice and tight. This one comes with the quick release and this allows the seat to be raised up and down with just the flick of this one lever. Other unicycles come with a bolt and a nut and for that you'll need the wrench. Drop one half of the quick release assembly through the bracket on the back of the seat post mount, washer and then the nut. So in the open position we want to tighten the seat post up, the seat post bolt up pretty tight there and that's in the open position. Next, we put a little dab of grease just in the top there. Drop your seat post straight in. Make sure it is aligned with the tire. And then we take the quick release lever here and push that forward. And you'll see that this locks the seat post into place. So the correct height for your seat and seat post assembly is when you're sat on the unicycle here, your right foot, when the pedal is at its lowest extension, should rest here with a straight leg with just a slight bend in the knee, but only a slight bend. This here is the minimum insert mark and the frame of the unicycle should be above this mark. If it goes any below here, this is actually unsafe to ride with. Sometimes the seat post may be slightly too long as supplied with the stock unicycle. And so for this, you'd need to cut it down. There are three ways of doing this. One, take it to a bicycle shop. They have all the proper tools there to do this. And typically you only need to cut two to three inches off the bottom here. Put it in a vise, use a little saw not such a clean cut, but if you need to get it done, then that works too. And the other thing is a plumber's pipe cutter. And that just simply clamps around the seat post. And as if you were cutting a pipe, you just go ahead, make that cut, and that works perfectly.